Hi, I'm Dan Patrick, candidate for Lieutenant Governor. Uh, I've been taking questions from Facebook, Twitter, and our website, hundreds of them. And uh, Margo, you've asked this question uh, about where we stand uh, on Common Core. The good news, Margo, is the very last bill that uh, I passed out of our Senate committee, I was chairman of education this past session, was to stop Common Core from coming into Texas. I believe the bill number was HB 462, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, Dan Huberty, a representative in Kingwood, passed the bill out of the House late in session, came to me as chair of education, said, can you get this pushed through? And I said, yes, we can. And what this bill does, Margo, is it says that you cannot use Common Core in Texas unless, or any other uh, national curriculum program, unless the legislature approves it. And you'll hold the legislature accountable. I don't believe Washington should be dictating to our local schools uh, of what to teach. And before this bill passed, Margo, there was a concern that a future governor um, or maybe even a Texas education commissioner could uh, unilaterally bring in Common Core or another program. Now, here's what you have to be on the watch for, Margo. We have 8,500 schools in Texas, 1,200 almost school districts. That means we have 8,500 principals, 1,200 superintendents, and 300,000 teachers. We can't watch everyone all the time. What's everyone doing? But you can, your school board can. So doesn't mean that there aren't some schools or some teachers or some principals who are using parts of Common Core. So we depend on you, the public, to let us know. And if they do, we will respond. I hope that answers your question, Margo.